Today we're going to change the recoil assembly on a still MS-180 chainsaw. Make sure the chain is free before starting. Use a 19mm hex socket spanner to loosen the two nuts that hold on the sprocket cover on the side of the machine. Then use a screwdriver to loosen the chain tensioning screw between the guide bar and the machine. You will notice the chain will begin to slack. Continue to unscrew the two sprocket cover nuts on the side of the machine. This will allow you to remove the casing, completely freeing the chain and bar. Remove the shroud casing by using a screwdriver to release the lock. Then push the choke lever downwards in order to free the shroud from the base. You can then remove the shroud completely. This is a good time to replace your air filter if you need to. Now remove the screw holding the hand guard in place using a Torx spanner. You will need to lift the hand guard out of its position. Then unscrew and fully remove the fuel and oil filler caps. It would be a good idea to do this repair when the tanks are empty. Then remove the three remaining torque screws holding the recoil assembly on. This will release the recoil assembly. Remember to remove the model plate if you are not replacing it, this can be attached to your new recoil assembly. After you have placed the new recoil assembly onto your machine, check that the pulley is free with tension. Place the hand guard back into its position and secure with the screw. Then fix the three remaining screws back onto the recoil assembly. Now screw the fuel and oil filler caps back into the machine. Place the shroud back onto the machine and secure it with the lock. Make sure to test that the switch and triggers are working in all positions. When placing the chain onto the guide bar, make sure that the cutting edge, highlighted in red, is facing away from the body of the machine on the top edge of the guide bar. This means that the cutting edge should be facing in the direction of the blade's rotation. Feed the chain around the bar and check that it's seated correctly. Make sure the chain moves in a smooth motion and it doesn't snag. Place the chain around the chain sprocket. Make sure the two screws are seated in between the chain bar. Place the casing back on and hand screw on the two nuts. Use a screwdriver to tighten the chain tensioning screw between the guide bar and the machine. Once together, make sure the chain is moving smoothly and it isn't too tight and doesn't have excessive slack. That's how you change the recoil assembly on a still MS-180. All the parts and tools needed for this task are listed in the description below. Please like, share and subscribe if you found this video helpful.